hike. An extended exercise by walking long miles. I enjoy it every once in a while. I've hiked here, I've hiked there, I've been a little bit of there. Yeah. Of course, as soon as I get home, I pretty much die. Literally just die. Dead. Right on the couch. Don't come alive till, uh, oh, uh, at least five hours. Don't know why I keep doing it if that's what happens, you know? A uh, hike! <laughs> I'm not a nature man. <laughs> I'm from the city. I'm proud of that fact. My dad grew up in the city. My mom's from the country. And I don't know why fate brought them together. Because they are so different. And my dad's a city guy. He's so proud. He's like, I'm from the city. Like, I know how to use a bus. <laughs> no bus! You know? Like, oh. Uh, I eat out at restaurants, stuff like that. And that's my dad. <laughs> it's funny, my dad will go to a restaurant, he loves to eat, well, like, we'll have secret breakfast. He's like, whatever you do, don't tell your mom. This never happened. And it's so hard to lie to her. Cause it's like 10 in the morning and she's like, are you guys hungry? No, no. <laughs> it's so hard to cover up that crime. <laughs> like, oh, we didn't have breakfast. So we had that breakfast like at six in the morning. Oh, and it's always at the same spot. I had to trick him into going to Polly's Pies for breakfast. Yeah. I had to trick him. I don't know how it worked. My dad likes, my parents like three restaurants. There's a Mexican place called Los Sanchez in Garden Grove, which is really good. We should all go there. Uh, this Salvadoran joint in Anaheim, the Carbonero, which means like, it means like the, car, the charcoal man. That place is good too. Uh, and it's like local like barbecue, I'm sorry, char roller place, like a, like a burger joint. I had to trick him to go to Polly's Pies. We're like driving down Maine and Santa. Like, he's like, I'm hungry. And I was like, whoa, I'm hungry too. <laughs> All right. He's like, let's go eat. And I was like, there's a good place over here. He's like, I don't want to go there. And I was like, well, let's just try it. All right. So we go to Polly's <laughs> and he falls in love with the place. And he's like, oh my God, this place is amazing. It's Polly's Pies. This is so good. So like for about like six months, we went like twice a month. And we kept a deal from my mom the whole time. It was like, all right, six in the morning, I better get up, I better just keep it, keep it secret. It was one of those things like, all right. So when I think of the city, I think of having a city breakfast. A country breakfast, which my mom makes, is really, really good. But I'm not gonna go into that, because we don't have enough time. So that's my story about city breakfast. <laughs> Why aren't you eating your eggs? I'm sorry. I'm just, I've had a really, really late night. I just, I just, uh, I'm allergic. <coughs> You're allergic to eggs? I'm allergic. I, I hurt my knee. Um, that's no, I, I worked very hard on those eggs. I made them over easy just the way you like them. I put them over under. <laughs> now that's not a big silly. No, it's not a big silly. It's a big silly. It's a thing. Pretty sure. No, I've noticed you haven't been eating. I'm concerned about you, Fernando. Are you taking drugs, Fernando? No. Me? Are you taking pills? Because I've heard those curb your appetite, and parents should look out for that. How much trouble would I get if I got caught doing pills? I would call the police, mister, because there's no illegal activities going on in my house. I definitely didn't do pills. <clears throat> All right, son. I'm a police officer. Hi. Uh, we found drugs in your bedroom. Oh. But they haven't been used, strangely. <laughs> <laughs> That's very odd. Right. Uh, the marijuana ceiling, the bag hasn't been opened up. The oxycodone hasn't been opened up. But I found this carton of eggs over here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't open yeah. No. That's okay. Yeah. I don't no. know. Can you explain this? I. This also, I found this. Uh, Farmer John ham that's been eaten you don't need nearly to, completely. You don't need to look into that. You know that. about that? Uh, no, just the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so another does it, huh? <laughs> I see no one can know. Okay. It's got to be on like the D L D L. You know that's how, that's how I operate. Yeah. yeah. They got organic or grade A. 
You got any free range? No, oh, I don't have any free range. Dude, that's how I roll. I don't want my, my eggs to feel hard. You want the dozen or not? Oh, honey, I had such a great time with you last night. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to reach in your drawer. No, not that. that. Okay. Eggs? This is why you don't want my eggs? Listen, there's a perfectly logical explanation for why oh there are eggs. I should have seen it all the sides. <laughs> That's why you're just so uninterested in my eggs. No. These eggs. No. Just, uh, uh, no. Me. This party's great, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want an egg? <laughs> <laughs> Member here today with us. Uh, he's an over or under kind of guy. Oh. 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 Good luck. Good luck. I will say I thought this was a judgment free zone. No, I just yeah, everybody kind of made a big ooh. <laughs> so I, I thought we were. We've well, all been there. Yeah, I thought we were taking the steps together. Yeah, that's wrong foot. Right. Wrong foot. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um. Here, let me start. Let me start. I'm uh I'm a hard fry kind of guy. Uh, I'm, uh, I came in here with uh, three times a day post addiction. Oh. <laughs> I was free based in omelets in uh, my grandmother's basement for two years. We'll get there. We'll get there. I, uh, I have to share that. Sorry. <laughs> I got a DUE. Uh, you were driving under. Under. Okay. You know, like the under over thing. Right. Like under egg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm driving, and that's. Listen, that was yeah. My name's uh, Darren, and. Uh, Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. I have an eggs benediction. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Did you, just, did you just combine? Benediction. We do the ham too, man. Oh, oh, Darren. That's a whole other meeting. That's at the, that's at the church down at that, oh, across yeah. town. Yeah. I just don't know which problem to tackle first. Well, this, this is strictly eggs, man. Sir. Told me to leave the support group? Yeah. No, 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 no. Can you just say no? Yeah, me. It's just, sorry, guys, I'm really scrambled about this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just making jokes about this to all of us? This is serious to us. This isn't a joke to me. This is my life. Every morning, afternoon, evening, sometimes. It's good. Any time. Right? That's the problem. You know what? We should go to Denny's. Uh, hi, welcome to Norm. <laughs> hey, um, you look familiar. Oh, uh, no, this is my first time here. I don't come to this Is this your face? Do not man? Oh, uh, no. That guy doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> Jack, Jackie. Fair enough. Get him to say it in the mic. Hey, want to use my pen? Sure, sure. I mean, I just... uh, what was your name again? Um, my name's Darren. Darren, what's your last name and social security number? <laughs> Darren Thompson, I don't feel like I should give him my social security number. Oh, you get free, you get free eggs if you do. 607 <laughs> 8367. Alright, I'm sorry, Darren. Didn't just say the egg thing. Alright, well, how do you like your eggs? Start making them, Louie. So you knew when you do the joint, huh? Yeah, I heard you the real, yeah, real big egg man, huh? Yeah. Hey, we got a little <laughs> egg bitch over here. <laughs>
in an 8 by 10 cell. <laughs> <laughs> with cultures clash on the roommates. <laughs> Jail bars <laughs> animation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so used to, you know, city life. Toilet paper just appears. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know anything about that because I'm from the country. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Glass of <laughs> coffee? In, in jail? Yeah, thanks. Can you say that again to the mic? Can you say that oh, again? Uh, yeah. In jail? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Books. Magazines. Books. Magazines? I'll take business inquiry. Weekly. Good. Good. <laughs> We've got uh, the issue from two years ago. You know, nothing's current in jail. Go to the interview. <laughs> uh, so I've been in jail for three months now. Uh, it's been tough. Uh, very much like city life, so I'm accustomed to it. Um, <laughs> Everything's cramped, you're with a lot of people, uh, schedule, schedule, schedule. But that country girl, I swear. <laughs> these days in co-ed prisons, putting a country girl with a city man? Why would they do such a thing? You cut to the country girl interview. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems really weird to me that I'm put in the same cell with a guy, but I didn't really have a choice. I'm, I'm in jail, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it's so I'm from the country. We come back to the jail cell. <laughs> I'm just saying you can put the toilet seat down afterwards. I don't know how you do it in the city, but well, you can see it. I mean, we're all in a rush, you know. We gotta, gotta hurry. We gotta do. Where things. are you going? Hey, uh, cut. Just cut. Cut. Look, the ratings are low on the show. Yeah. What? The ratings are low on the show, so we're gonna take it to Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. Going to Miami. Yeah, we're moving to a jail cell in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> this summer on Fox. <laughs> you thought it was hot in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Just wait till they get to Miami. Miami Vice Neon Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Roommates Miami Nights. Bam, 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 bam. Animation jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the jail cells here in Miami are a lot nicer. Fog machine. <laughs> Cuban music can be heard outside. <laughs> <laughs> They're a lot hotter, that's for sure. Very Cuban, yeah. Whoa! Really? I know I'm all a little white. I've just been in the city for so long. Still with lots of sun. I wasn't going to make any note about your skin tone. Does your, your skin down? Hey, Duncan, Lee, you're not sexy enough. Can you show some more skin? Libros, periodicos. Libros, periodicos. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We cut to the interview with the book guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I got the JSL and, uh, you know, I had to get this American accent. It was pretty difficult. Believe it or not, they said, hey, we need a guy who who, who gives books out in the jail, but we don't want somebody who's got the accent. So I said, I will do my best John Wayne impression. I will do the Duke. So I give him the Duke, and I get the job. Now we in Miami. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> no, who doesn't have little accent no more? <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut. Guys, this has been a huge hit. Just, what's my motivation? It's been a huge hit. You're from the country. You're from the city. Don't fuck with it. All right. <laughs> All right. We're moving to Boston. Really? Again? Guy, do your thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, you thought it was hot in Miami. Now wait until you get to a really embittered city known as Boston. <laughs> He's still from the city. It might be his home. It might not. She's from the country being put in a completely different place. <laughs> it's roommate's Boston. <laughs> Well, well, 
menu or something? A menu? Yes. Dude, it's like five in the morning, man. <laughs> you, you know there's a bird on your shirt. Yes, I know. It's a lovely day. We don't allow pets in Denny's. No. Unless it's a service animal. Oh. I apologize for my inconvenience and telling you. Thank the players, we got Sam! 